Before explaining lazy minting, I will remind you what is minting itself. So when you want your artwork to become an NFT, you will need to tokenize it on blockchain. And this process is called minting. Similar as metal coins are minted to appear in circulation, your NFT should be recorded on blockchain. After that, it's available on your wallet. You can transfer it or sell it. So minting requires processing and validating transactions on Ethereum blockchain. And it means that you will need to pay gas fees in exchange for computing energy that power these actions. Unfortunately, one of the biggest barriers for creators to mint more NFTs are those insanely high gas fees. Paying these fees does not guarantee any return on investment. In fact, many artists lose their money just by paying high gas for works that are not sold afterwards. Here comes the lazy minting. It allows to pay gas fees after purchase. In other words, lazy minting is when NFT is available off-chain and only gets minted when there is a sale of this NFT. Lazy minting is a way to defer the payment of gas fees until NFT is sold. With lazy minting, when creating an NFT, the author signs minting authorization that later allow to do users minting themselves. This signature is free to produce because it does not require on-chain transactions. OpenSea, for example, uses lazy minting in a way that you will need to authorize the smart contract only once and pay those gas fees in the beginning. After that, any amount of listings can be posted. This allows you to create as many NFTs on Ethereum blockchain as you want, without paying gas fees until somebody wants this NFT to purchase. Then the buyer pays gas fee to mint the item in addition to the sale price of this item. Basically, lazy minting is a solution to one single problem – insanely high gas fees for Ethereum. The good news about Ethereum and gas fees is that there is a plan to move Ethereum blockchain to the version 2.0, which will use proof of stake instead of proof of work. This method will allow to significantly reduce uh, gas fees by 99.9%. .9%. This sounds very promising, and this is expected to happen sometime near the end of 2021 with no exact date. This means that very soon we will see if it works. So far, happy minting, or let's say lazy minting. We'll appreciate if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next videos!